is amazing. Convincing the keeper took work, but I'm so glad you managed. Here to help, Inquisitor. I told them the offer was the best we could do. And of course they said no. They didn't want to promote and do anything bad. We've an interesting development, Inquisitor. A petition from citizens of Val Royale. They wish to know what Andraste said to you in the Faith. They think she spoke to me. Even Leliana can't trace the rumor's origin. It may be expedient to respond to those asking for Andraste's words. Tell these petitioners Andraste said she cares for us, always, as she walks by the Maker's side. A fine sentiment. We will have it proclaimed in Val Royal. Yes? Where were you raised, Josephine? I was born in Antiva City, but when I turned 15, Mother declared I'd attend finishing school in Val Royale. Oh, but I bowled into her skirts the day I had to leave. And did they have to pry your fingers off the doorframe as well? Admittedly, I may have been a trifle sheltered, but my mother only wanted the best for me. Living in Orlais was an education in itself. What did you learn at this finishing school in Val Royale? Well, among other things, mathematics, rhetoric, poetry, history, logic, and a great deal of etiquette. I still remember Madame Beventir's switch on my knuckles when I forgot the basic tenets of Nevaran dining customs. For a dowager approaching her 80th year, she had quite the arm. How did the younger you like Val Royale when you arrived? Have you ever stepped into a new city and felt the buildings couldn't possibly be real? Well, that was Val Royal to me. So beautifully foreign, I gaped at its spires for months. Does Antiva City have nothing that compares to Val Royal? Antiva City is a jewel among the capitals. <sighs> but I did not appreciate that before I traveled. There are multitudes of places I'd like to see. Seheron, the Anderfeld, whatever lies past the Amaranthine Ocean. Who rules Antiva? Officially, the Principality of Antiva is governed by His Majesty King Fugelno II. In reality, Antiva's merchant princes rule the country in everything but name. Quite loudly, I might add. What sort of dealings did you have with these merchant families? As ambassador, I attended Privy Council meetings in a mediatory capacity. May I just say, one has never heard an argument until they've sat in on 15 princes howling down each other's tariff suggestions. If you must deal with legislation, at least it's lively. It's all a part of life in Antiva. Our traditions value passion and romance. A certain exuberance of style. Are you positive you're Antivan? I can be most exuberant when it's called for. Just at the right moments and in a proper fashion. Might we speak of something else? You haven't really gone into detail about how you know Leliana. We met... Oh, let me think. We met the last few years of my schooling, but we became friends after I became ambassador to Olay. It seems terrifyingly long ago now.
how exactly did you and Liliana reconnect in the Inquisition? I discovered my family had been overcharging a merchant we traded with for months. Our name carries a great deal of trust in Antiva. I spent weeks arranging a string of favors as suitable recompense. Apparently satisfied, the merchant extended me an invitation to her estate. Leliana greeted me in place of the merchant. I assume the entire problem was some form of trial. You assume correctly. Leliana claims she needed someone of painful integrity for the Inquisition. I accepted, once she finally explained what it was. Do you remain close? Yes, but she's grown so much more distant than the outgoing woman I met in Valroyo. Leliana used to wander the Olesian courts, singing the sweetest songs, charming the greatest wits. Now she collects secrets and takes risks that would make empires tremble. I worry, but she will not hear it. Does Leliana confide in you? She enjoys revisiting our more disastrous adventures. Leliana used to concoct the most ridiculous plans. Run if you ever see her with a twine ball, a measuring stick, and a handkerchief. Tell me about the Montilliers. Well, uh, my parents are alive and in good health. Uh, they live in our estate in Antiva City. Of my four siblings, most attend to the running of the family vineyards. Oh, that reminds me, I must ask someone to make sure Yvette attends the spring reception at the palace. My youngest sister has no head for social engagements. Why are you overseeing your siblings' social lives? It's Antivan custom. After a certain age, the heir apparent runs the family's estate to prove they're worthy of succession. If you're unfit for the task, the heads of the house, usually one's parents, may decree a new heir. What do these Antivan heads of the households do if they don't run it? They work and provide guidance. I've taken advice from my parents. Well, mostly mother. Father's more of an artist. It's rather gauche, but we never can dissuade him from running his own salons. Between him and my siblings, Mother's looking forward to my taking over the estate. I imagine there must be give and take between a family heir and their parents. There is a fair amount of arbitration. Bickering, if one is less polite. But managing the estate is my duty. As much work as it is, I will not shirk it. Is running your family's estate that important to you? I'm responsible for their welfare. A Montelier never shuns their familial duty. Taxing, as those duties can sometimes be. Maybe your siblings could help lighten your burden. You don't know them. But Lorien in charge, or Antoine, or Yvette? No. Truly, it must be me. What's the land like in Antiva? The settled areas are quite lush. The vineyards run as far as the eye can see in some places. Antiva City, however, perches right up against the Rialto Bay. That's what I miss most. The sea crashing against the maze of the docks. I have difficulty seeing you wandering around a trading port. Everyone in Antiva City spends time by the ships, my lady. The finest restaurants and poets all make their habitation by the sea. The waterfronts never still. Lanterns are lit along the promenade no matter what the weather. Are you ever homesick? Occasionally. When a breeze stirs the trees in the garden, I sometimes pretend it's the sound of the surf. You know, I even miss those.